Let's go, fellas. Let's go. So today we're here to talk about how to not catch feelings. All right. And basically this is how to not, you know, get attached to a woman and shit like this right here. Because guys, when you're going out here and you're dating these nines and tens, and especially if they're feminine or your masculine energy is put, keeping them in their feminine, you have a tendency to catch feelings, all right? And so this is the thing, guys. This is what's going to keep you from catching feelings. All right, so first let's talk about what gets a woman to catch feelings, all right? So let's talk about what gets her attached. All right, you get her attached and catch feelings by chasing your validation, all right? By chasing your validation, you're constantly getting her to engage in her emotions, all right? So when you're on your purpose and you're not giving her a lot of your non-sexual attention and shit like this right here, that's going to get a woman attached because now she's attached to getting your validation. She's obsessed with getting your validation. All right, guys? So that's how you're going to do that, by keeping her emotions engaged, by being proactive, not reactive, taking a week off here and now, not calling her all the time and shit like this right here, all right? So that's how you get her attached. And all that comes... And, and first, before you even go to that, to making her want to chase your validation, you got to get her to like you, to want to chase it. It's got to be something worth chasing. She ain't going to just chase your validation for the hell of chasing your validation like you God Almighty. So that means that when you're with her, she's intoxicated with your masculine energy, your seductive uh, mode, all that type of thing, all right? The way you're in, all that. So when she's with you, she's intoxicated with it. That way, when you're not with her, she needs it again. She needs some more of that masculine energy. She needs some more of that seduction, all right? So when you're not with her and you're on your purpose and shit like that, she need another fix. She need another hit. I need to get another hit of that masculine energy, all right? The way that motherfucker talk to me, the way he look at me, I need to get another hit of it. I need to get my fix, all right? It's like heroin, all right? So that's why that you got to make sure you're doing all those things right to where she even wants to get your validation, all right? But let's hypothetically say you're doing all the things right and she's chasing your validation, all right? So how do we get attached, all right? We get attached through bonding, all right? When you spend time with a woman and shit like this right here, you're going to start to bond with her. You're going to start to want to spend more time with her, the, the, her soft touch, her boobs on your shoulder, her head laying on your lap and shit like that right there, guys, all right? So we get attached to spending time with women. Now, just notice what the fuck I just said. You get her attached when you're not spending time with her, and you get attached when you're spending time with her. And she becomes detached the more time you spend with her, she becomes detached because essentially you're validating her. So now he's giving me his validation, so I have no reason to chase it no more. All right? So did y'all guys just see what I just did? When you're making her chase your validation by not spending a lot of time with her, by being proactive, by taking weeks off and stuff like that, she's attached. She's attached to chasing your validation. You get attached when you're spending time with her and she becomes detached because you spend a lot of time with her is giving her your validation. Even if you're not saying compliments and shit like that, the fact that you're with me and spending time with me is all the validation I need. You don't got to tell me my hair look good and you don't got to tell me I'm pretty today. The fact that your ass sitting over here on my couch is all the validation I need. All right. That's the worst type of validation, by the way, guys. All right. Because... The fact is what you're saying is you spending time to me is more important than your friends, your purpose, your hobbies, and everything. That's validation. Listen, that is the worst type of validation. That's validation in itself is why a woman lose interest, guys. All right? It's why she lose the attachment. All right? So the thing what you want to do, guys, is it always comes back around to purpose. All right? If you're on your purpose, but let me, before I even say that purpose, guys, fuck your purpose, all right? And I mean that in a serious way. Fuck your purpose. When you round this fucking woman, if you don't know how to get her intoxicated with you, she don't give a fuck you working on your purpose. You can work on your purpose in your fucking sleep for all she care, all right? The fact that you're on your purpose only matters, guys, is if when she's with you, she can't get enough of you. All right, so for all you guys that don't want to be in your masculine frame and don't want to work on your seduction and all that type of stuff right there, you can be on your fucking purpose 24 fucking hours out the fucking day. And it won't mean a hill of beans to that fucking woman. 
is when you round her, you get her intoxicated with you, and now that you're working on your purpose. You see where I'm going? Now that she can't get her hit today. See, you ain't gave her a fix today. She needs some more of that seduction. She needs some more of that masculine frame. All right? Now that you're on your purpose, now she's attached. All right? Just going and getting on your purpose. I'm going to go get on my purpose. And that's going to... Purpose fixes everything. No, it, it, it fixes a lot of shit. All right? It's a good little saying. I like the sound of it. But purpose won't fix that goddamn seduction if your ass around her and you like, hey, Sandy, what's going on today? And you ain't got no masculine frame. Purpose won't fix that shit. I promise you. Purpose won't fix that. It fixes, purpose fixes 98% of shit. But it won't fix that. If when she around you, if you don't know how to goddamn seduce her, if you don't know how to hold a masculine frame, if you don't know how to pass shit tests, purpose won't fix that shit. I promise you. All right? So you got to remember that, guys. You got to make sure that she's intoxicated with you. All right? So basically, to not catch feelings to a woman, basically, you have to let make her be chasing your attachment. Chasing your validation, all right? If you're doing that, you won't catch feelings. The more time you spend with her, the more time you're culling with her, the more time you're spending doing dates and shit like that, oxytocin in your head is going to start. Now you intoxicated with her. Now you build an attachment, all right? Because now you're, you're intoxicated with her touch, all right? Now you're making her your life. So when I get off work now, I'm not on my purpose. I'm spending time with her. Now I need a hit of her. Now I need. Now I'm wondering where she at. Where you at? You usually here by six o'clock, all right? And she's becoming detached because you don't gave her your validation. So now she's becoming detached because you're no longer engaging in her emotions because she knows exactly where the fuck you stand, all right? And that's chasing her validation, all right, guys. So to basically not catch feeling, guys, just stay on your purpose. And don't spend too much time with a woman. One day a week should do. Don't give her a lot of your non-sexual attention and shit like this. But and when I say non-sexual attention, I'm not talking about on the phone and shit like that because uh, you don't want to give her a lot of that too. But basically, spending a lot of time around the woman. All right, a woman's touch is deadly. All right, a woman laying her head on your lap is deadly. You putting your arm around a woman and she got her head right here up under you like that. That's deadly. All right, you're building an attachment, all right? Because you're getting attached to that feel, that soft skin, them big old bitties. All right, guys? So that's the thing with that, guys. Just don't spend a lot of time with women, around women and stuff like this. One day a week, keep them chasing your validation, and you should be good, all right? Stay with your rotation and things like that. It's going to be hard to build an attachment if you just, like, seeing a girl once a week and you got your rotation and shit like this right here. And you ain't giving her a lot of your non-sexual attention. It's going to be hard to build an attachment like that. It's going to be hard to catch feelings like that. All right, guys. All right. I had another guy want to know, hey, man, what's the uh, number one rule I need to know to build a business? All right. Guys, without a shadow of a doubt, with anything you want to do, entrepreneurship, you need to know, ask yourself, what makes what I'm doing different than what anybody else is doing? All right, and I put it to you guys. I want y'all guys to think about the Alpha Male Strategy brand as a whole. Everything I am, what I say, is everything I am. I want y'all guys to think, do y'all know anybody on, on YouTube that sound and act like me? Anybody. Now, y'all can go watch a lot of other dating coaches. They all kind of sound the same. They all sound politically correct. They don't cuss and stuff like this right here. And so they all pretty much sound generic and they all pretty much sound the same. I'm a breath of fresh air. All right, and that's why I exploded because I'm different. All right, and it's not about dating techniques and strategies and stuff like that, which I do say a lot of stuff that other dating coaches don't haven't said, but it's not even about that. It's just my whole presentation. All right, is different. All right, and so that's the number one thing y'all guys need to understand about any business. What makes you different? If you guys gonna start a YouTube channel and you want to talk about uh, fitness or whatever. What makes you different from the Hodge Twins and Chris Jones and, and Furious Pete and all these other guys? What makes you different? All right. If you want to start a dating channel and shit like this with him, what's going to make you different? If you're going to get on the dating channel and you're going to sound like every other dating coach on there, then it won't take off, guys. You have to be unique. All right. In anything you fucking do, it has to be fucking unique. Put some thought into it 
and think, what can I do to make my brand different than all the other brands? All right, you need to put some serious thought into it. All right, make yourself stand out from the fucking crowd, guys. You have to be different. All right, and that takes some thinking. All right, most of us is inspired by somebody who's already doing what we're trying to get in to do. All right, somebody is usually inspired us and. and Maybe you don't want to do exactly what they do, but they have inspired you to go in that direction or whatever the case may be or whatever. That's fine and cool, but you can't just go take somebody's style, all right? They can inspire you to want to become a dating coach or become a, a fitness YouTuber, but you can't go take somebody's style. You have to build your own fucking brand, all right? If you take that other person's style, it's already been done. It won't take off, all right? Oh, that's already been done. He sounds just like Alpha Male Scratches. And I ain't talking about techniques. I'm just talking about in presentation, the way I talk. All right, all right. It it, it, it won't take off. Everybody, it, people are coming. Up, he sounds just like Alpha Male Scratches. Ain't nobody gonna listen to your ass if you're doing exactly what somebody else already done. All right. Be unique, and all you guys who own your purpose, put your purpose as in something that can be unique. How can I stand out different from what everybody else is doing? All right. That's the number one rule in business. You won't succeed if you're not unique. All right. And pretty much everything has been done, guys. Just think of presentation, all right? Just think of presentation. Unless you're just creating a whole new fucking product or something like that. But pretty much everything. If you're going to start a YouTube channel, pretty much everything has been done. But you just need to focus on presentation or something like that, guys. All right, guys. But getting back to the first topic, how you know catch feelings, guys. If you're too busy making her build an attachment, chase your validation, you won't catch feelings, all right? If you give her your validation and you start spending a lot of time with her, not only is you going to catch our feelings, but she's going to lose feelings. All right. It'll be one thing, guys, if I can sit up here and tell you, OK, if you're going to build an attachment, at least the woman going to stay feeling the same. And so y'all will be happily married every after. But that ain't the way it worked. When you start giving her that attention, she start going the other fucking way. All right. So that's why it's critical for you to be making her chase your validation. All right. So that's the way that works, guys. Not only is it going to keep you from catching feelings, but it's going to keep her engaged and chasing for your affection. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Y'all guys been coming up with some good video suggestions. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Holla back.